guys, how are y'all? Hey, you can see my head in the back. Strange, weird, distracting. Anywho, I'm in Little Dude's room. Reason being, I was putting up laundry and um, I came back up here to finish putting up laundry. Um, anybody else live out of laundry baskets besides me? I do all my laundry and then I don't put it away and we live out of laundry baskets until the next time we have to do laundry. What is going on here with this? Sorry for adjusting, but my bra strap was acting funny. So is this one. Sorry. So, so TMI. But anywho, hi Osbo. Come here. Wanna say hello? You wanna say hello to the people? Hello. Hello to the people. Hello. Ugh. He is up here in the laundry baskets actually. But anywho, went to Thrift Town today, and I was just there, and I about kicked myself in the butt because I used a $5 coupon the last time I was at Thrift, which was my last Thrift haul, but I hadn't checked my email, so I didn't know that I had a $15 off of $30 or more coupon, which I had just missed by a few dollars my last trip. Killed me. But the registered lady asked me had I used it and I didn't know anything about it and I found it on my Yahoo email, which I don't hardly use anymore, and it expired today. So, sorry if I'm out of breath. It's been kind of rainy. I have all the windows open trying to get some circulation. I've been running around since I got home and I came upstairs like really, really fast holding laundry baskets and now I'm out of breath. <laughs> but anywho, I wanted to use that coupon because it's a freaking awesome coupon, $15 off of $30 or more. And since I have my laundry baskets here, I'm in a hurry to take out the clean laundry and put in dirty laundry. And I bought a few little articles of clothing, which I need to put into the dirty laundry basket so I can wash it before I wear it. But I wanted to show you guys what I picked up. It's gonna be a very tiny video. I was thinking of holding onto it and adding on to another video of anything I might get myself into this week. But I felt like talking to y'all and sharing with y'all. So here we go. Like I said, I really only went because um, I had that coupon and I wanted to use it. Now purple tags were on sale, so this didn't fall into the purple tag of it all. But um, I thought this was interesting. It's called The Best Holocaust Diary Since Anne Frank, and it was of Peter Ginz, who died during the Holocaust. Uh, he died in a concentration camp, and it's um, his um, diary entries that were found um, a while ago and published. So this was a dollar, well, it was 50% off, 60% off $1.99, but it didn't fall into the sale, but that's okay because I had $30 and some cents in what I'm about to show y'all. So this is my favorite find. I need another bag like I need another hole in my head. I have holes in my head. Um, but look at this, guys. Do y'all see the awesomeness that is this bag? The color is what grabbed me. I like orange. It's very different. The stud detail I liked, and then I got to looking to see what the others were, and they were friggin' skulls. And I thought that was too cool. It's an adjustable strap, make it longer, make it shorter. And the leather is really, really soft. And because I had walked around and couldn't find anything and I was gonna use that friggin' coupon, um, I went ahead and purchased this, but that is something y'all know I would never have purchased, even with a coupon because it was so expensive, but I had to use it. So I grabbed this little booger. I love the color salmon, love it. It doesn't, it kind of works with my skin tone, but sometimes it makes my Band-Aid skin look even more band aid -ier. But it's just this slouchy, comfortable little top that I'm gonna wear with some little white um, denim capris I have or some white shorts. I love this color with white. I love any color with white. But 
I just fell in love with it. I thought it was really pretty and it'll, it'll work in spring into summer, depending on what I'm up to. Uh, but that was $3.99. Now, mind y'all, y'all may see some prices that y'all are like, what? Cheap old Melissa paid that. But I had to get up to 30 so I could use my coupon. That's the only reason. I found this. And my sister will probably disown me because she says I dress like a grandma. And this is going to clinch it. But are you kidding me? This was so stinking pretty, I had to have it. It's this little crocheted, am I holding it correctly? It's this little crocheted top that I'll wear a little tank under in this really pretty baby blue. The little crisscross straps across the back, isn't that cute? It's not low cut or anything. It just has that little crisscross detail across the back of your shoulders. Again, I thought this would be awesome with a white bottom white skirt and this is the outfit I have in mind a few thrifts thrift hauls back I found this peasant skirt a little longer than calf length but not quite ankle length midi length uh white peasant skirt and I thought this with a little white tank under it and this little tan uh crocheted not crocheted little tan um a burlappy looking backpack with some little flip-flops would be so boho cute as a summer or spring outfit. So had to have this. It was so stinking cute and it was more on the expensive side, $5.99. Not my coupon, wouldn't have bought it. I might have because I really fell in love with it, but that's why I got it. Now I'd seen this shirt the last time I was there. Little dude liked it, but Sometimes yellow doesn't work on our skin tone, so I left it. But because I was trying to get to that 30, I went ahead and got it. It's in really good condition. It is polo, and y'all know if, when I find this at thrift stores, I buy it because it lasts a really, really long time. It was $5.99, but it helped me get to that total. And little dude had liked it, so once I wash it and he sees it, he may remember it and be like, oh, okay, you got it. And the only other thing here was this little lightweight um, gap shirt for a little dude at $2.99. So I was at $30 and some cents. I was able to use my coupon and I walked out of there spending 15 something, which I thought was awesome because that was my goal. My uh, coupon didn't go to waste because that is so heartbreaking to me when a good coupon goes to waste. But um. I'm waiting for little dude to come back. So I'm gonna go ahead and, <laughs> and um, I'm looking at that little toilet, um, this little thing back here. I'm waiting for little dude to come home, but I wanted to take advantage of some of the sunshine that I had coming into his room. His room has a lot of light. I'm in little dude's room. Let me show you all that, hold on. Okay, only because it looked weird sitting back there, some of you might be wondering what the heck, even if you weren't wondering, I'm gonna let y'all in on it. This is called Toilet Trouble. Yes, it is a little plastic toilet. The aim of the game is you fill the little toilet bowl to the water line right here, and each person playing rolls the potty paper, and whatever number it lands is however many times you press the flusher. Now, eventually, water will spray you in the face. So, whoever gets sprayed, is out of the game and you continue on until the last person standing is not sprayed. So we saw this around Christmas time and we have real warped and goofy sense of humor in his house. So we figured why not? So just wanted to show you all that. It's called Toilet Trouble. It's a lot of fun. I've had adults play it and we all get a blast out of it. Uh, but anywho, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put up this laundry and get these thrifted pieces into the laundry or into to-do laundry piles. And I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Hope you all are having an awesome Sunday. And till my next go around, love y'all bunches. Bye.